The fact that PowerPoint contains a number of useful features is one of the reasons why it has continued to be the most popular presentation program. You can also time your presentations in PowerPoint for more flexibility. Any slide you choose can have PowerPoint slide timing applied to it, and your slides will progress at the specified interval. Any presenter who wants to produce a flawless presentation must be adept at timing their PowerPoint slides. You don't have to start from scratch if, when practicing your presentation, you realize that the timing of your slides has to be altered. Following a few easy steps will allow you to change the timing of your slides. I'll cover all you need to know to timing your PowerPoint presentations in today's video. Each presentation is unique. Before timing your slides, you should consider what your presentation requires. There are several ways by which you can switch slides during your presentation. I just took one of our templates to use in a tutorial. However, you may download it here and sign up for our premium access if you like templates like this. Animations and transitions are two outstanding features of PowerPoint. These special effects allow you to alter how you switch between slides and display your text and images. PowerPoint allows users to adjust the speed of their slide transitions using the duration box. The longer the duration, the slower the slides advance to the next slide, and vice versa. If you want to add time in your slide of your PowerPoint presentation and you have no idea how to do it, just follow these steps. Open your PowerPoint presentation. Look for the Transition tab under the Ribbon tab. In the right corner, you can see the Duration box under the Timing group. Here is where you can set the time, the longer the duration the slower the transition. Here's the example. First, I'll set the duration to 3 seconds, and then I'll set the next one to 50 milliseconds. See the difference? Next, let's put some sound effect in our transitions to make our presentation more exciting and engaging. Go to sound, then pick your prefer sound. Let's see. So, to apply the sound to all slides just click apply to all. It also apply your transition and its duration. Last, but not the least, let's set if what do you prefer when you next to the following slide. It's either on mouse click or using timer. On mouse click is when you click your mouse to move to the next slide. Here's the example. Next. The timer, it is when you set the time to when is the next slide to happen. Example, I'll set it to 5 seconds. Here's the example. That's it. Now you know how to time slides in your presentation. And that's a wrap for today's video. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more videos like this, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss an upload. See you soon!